Hello, my name's Charlie Hardy. I'm a cattle hoof trimmer. Been in the industry for about 20 years and uh, I've developed a program to record what I see on the farm. This is all four feet. Very simple app. As you can see, we use it on the machines. When I go to a farm, it's very quick and simple, quicker than paper. This is how I use it. Basically, we have here is the farms, your customers, and you've got the reports. We're going to go on now and start the day's recording. So we're going to select our farm first. It's easy just to type in the surname of the farmer so we can start to type it in and do a search. The farmer comes up. And you can basically got the information of the farm that you're at and all the details that you can confirm with the farmer later on if need be. To start recording now, when the first animal's in, we start like that. We put in the first catch. This is your main screen. This is where you record the numbers. Now you can put your cows in, you can put number 20 in. There's nothing wrong with her. As you can see, all four feet. We can go to two feet to trim if you want to, or even one foot or two feet, but it always defaults to all four feet. Next cow, as you can see now, we have one cow, four feet. Next cow comes in, number 30, no problems with her. Another cow comes in, number 40, no problems with her. We are now making a list of the animals there, as you can see a drop down box of the ones we've done, so we can go back through them. If you have an animal with a problem, let's say number 50 comes in with a problem, we can then go to start recording the problem. We click on this screen here, and this is the treatment. This is zones, a very precise way of recording. How I record using zones is you've got your feet, the four feet there, we're gonna go on the back left foot, so you select the foot first. You then have where the ailment is, or the problem is, on the zone. So we collect, so we're gonna select she has a soul ulcer, so we're going to select zone four. We then have soul ulcers here. We tap once, which makes it blue, which is a, a scoring of one, which is a concern to the trimmer. Not a problem, just a concern. Two, she's lame. She has got a problem. She has got an issue. Score three is an animal that's got a major issue that I am very concerned about and I really want to treat further. Score four is an animal that is now welfare concerns. When you have these on farms, you need to have information from the vet or ask for advice. So you can see now in zone four, we have a score four of a soul ulcer. We're going to put a block on her there. We're going to put a bandage on her as well. We're going to put a comment of, we're going to use salicylic acid for the treatment. We also have an option of rechecks where we can see an animal again, let's say in, in four weeks time. How this works is that this animal, if we ask to be rechecked, will be allocated to the visit closest to four weeks time on your diary. The farmer will automatically get an email notification saying this animal wants rechecking at this visit. This allows you to check that everything is going right and you're happy with the improvements to the animal. If we're happy with that, we can save the animal. Carrying on, you can have uh, number 60 comes in. Right, I want to take a photograph now of this cow, it's got major issues. Easily to take a photograph. Basically, you select the foot you want to photograph. You then get the tablet and you take get the animal in focus, the foot in focus, and you click save it. And now it's on the tablet for you to use for reference in the future. We can record what the issues were with that fat, with the cow. Let's say on the back right foot, she had necrosis, so we're going to tap on zone one. We've got necrosis there. We're going to make it a four because it's very bad. We're going to have a recommendation that she needs vet advice for animal welfare concerns. We're going to ask to see her again next time, and we're going to treat her with a antibiotic powder. We're going to put a block and a bandage on her. At the same time, we might want to discuss this with the farmer, so we're going to hit this icon here to discuss later on, save the cow. In the drop down list, you'll see it in red. So I can click on that there. I can show the farmer the photograph of the cow. And I can also give him a full report of what the issues were, as you can see. Take the alert off. As we go on during the day, you do number 80 and you do number 90. And let's say number five comes in. The tablet alerts you. This animal has been seen in the last three months by you or one of the members of your company, or even the farmer. To see the history of this animal, you tick on this icon here, 
And that brings you up the dates you've actually seen this animal in her full history, not just in the last three months. Here she is, number five, and we can see we took a photograph of it. And there's a photograph of the foot that we did. We've also got here at the top the farmer's name, the cow ID, and the time of it uh, treated for reference details. We can then go on to the tablet further and we can find out that in her front left foot, we had an infection, a soul separation with a wall ulcer, soul ulcer, and bruising. We also had a block and a bandage on her and we used salicylic acid as a treatment. That's all in the history. So we can go on now and say what we've done to that animal. You might decide, let's just go back one page, you might decide just to do the one foot because you only saw her three or four weeks ago. And the treatment is, she's still got a slight separation, still a bit of bruising, and I'm gonna leave a block on her. See you again in four weeks time. All Four Feet also has the ability to use a wand or an EID reader saving a human error when recording animals. Basically, it's very simple, this is how it works. We have the animals that walk in. You can do them with staging. As you can see, it comes up on the tablet. Also the history. We can go down another animal, automatically saves as you go down the race of animals. Do you remember the last one we ear tagged, we read, we can change to an identification we know her as. Or you can go back down to the animal with a history and we can check her history there as you can see she has problems with concerns but you didn't have to put anything in manually when we finished on the day we can go and do the invoice which is another simple thing click on there you can put in how many cows you've done we've done 10 cows we've done 37 feet uh, we've also put on two bandages which are there and we've put on a couple of smart blocks which are there i'm also going to leave the farmer a box of green uh, a box of shoes which is there done there's his invoice and his printed invoice is there for the farmer you can print that off on farm or it will go as an email to the farmer in the future going back back again we've now finished on that farm we can come out of it we can go to another farm if you want to, Mr. Brown's, and carry on trimming there on another farm, as you can see. And then we do that. This farm here, those are two farms we've done today. Ticking that little icon there now allows us to send it to the All Four Feet site where your farmers, consultants, and vets can see the reports. To send it to report, all we need is Wi Fi. This is the only time you actually need Wi Fi on the tablet is to send it to the cloud, the all four feet clouds. You tap on the icon to send there. Your little icon here in the bottom right hand corner is your tablet and the cloud. And you can see it transfers the data up to the cloud, but at the same time, it'll transfer data back down to your tablet. So if any other reports from other trimmers within the company are on the cloud, they'll update your tablet. Also any information, click on there, ready to transfer and it's transferred. That's how easy it is to record with all four feet.